YouTube, what is y'all doing? All right, running kind of short on time, but today what we're getting into is this rim repair on my car. I hit a pothole. I don't know how well y'all can see that in Nashville and bent one of my rims. So I made an appointment to go get that fixed at this local rim repair shop. So that's where I'm heading to now. And I'm supposed to be there by 12. And it's like, I don't know, 11.35. I haven't driven this car in like a week because of this issue. So I need to get there and get this taken care of. And I'm bringing y'all along for the ride. We can see how good of a job they do. Um, and it's gonna set me back, they're estimating $125, which is cheaper than a rim. You know, I didn't want to spend that, but gotta do what we gotta do here so let's let's get to it all right so while we on our way out here i guess i'll elaborate more on what happened to my rim so i was on my way home uh like a week ago from the day i don't even remember where i was going it was valentine's day and it's coming over this bridge and actually before i got to the bridge where the bridge met the actual road there's just this huge like gap like nothing was there so and it was dark outside so you couldn't see it before you got there and as soon as i saw it i was like i tried to swear but it was too late and all i heard was like a huge thud and i was like i i know i destroyed my rim in fact looking at the rim i'm surprised that's as bad as it is you know just from what i heard and i checked out the other rims none of the other ones like bent or anything i drove the car all the way home after that the tire still holding the air it's actually not wobbling as much as you would think it would but yeah it sucks because it's gonna send me back 125 dollars now i know that you can get like the state to like cover certain things like that but um from what i hear that's like really hard to do like by the time you even get them to fix it it's probably gonna be months down the road and they probably not gonna even cover the whole cost of the fix because they don't really feel like they're at fault. So, I mean, it's whatever at this point. I just want my car fixed so I can start driving it normally again. Cause it's literally just been sitting in the garage since this happened. So hopefully this place is gonna uh, help me out. I think it's it's in, uh, it's called Hubcap Heaven out here in Nashville. And I called around, you know, for some quotes. People either weren't answering their phone or, you know, this and that. They were the only people that like, seem reasonable about getting it done like and it sucks because i gotta take a, a little bit of time away from work to actually get this done so you know fun stuff but as you can see the car like still drives straight it's not like really pulling or anything it's not vibrating the whole lot so i'll probably get a wheel alignment after this too just to be on the safe side but you know yeah, it's things that happen, you know. I've never been a rim before in my life, and as soon as I buy some rims, a set, then I be in the rim, so. I also don't want to elaborate too much on like, why I haven't like, been vlogging that much. All that's gonna like, be made clear soon, I guess. Like, we gonna get in all of that. But, you know, I don't know when this video is gonna come out, but, just wanted to show y'all what I'm dealing with today. So, you know, things do happen, but you just gotta be prepared for when they do, and we are, so we're gonna get it taken care of, hopefully. All right, y'all, we made it. Get my sunroof down. Cause you never know how this Nashville weather might perform. Okay. Let's go in here and get some business taken care of. All right, child, excuse the wind noise. So I, he took the car to the back. He was telling me that it's probably gonna discolor the rim a little bit and the rim has the potential of cracking. He straightens it out. He was kind of trying to tell me, you know, leave, leave it alone because it's holding air. But I was like, nah, I can't do that. Cause I'm gonna I'm end up replacing it if I don't get it fixed. So either way, it's gonna cost me some money. So I'd rather try and get it straight now and if I need to, like down the line, I can plow, I can powder dip it a different color or something like that, powder coat it. So I told him like, let's just give it a shot and see what's going on. So hopefully the rim doesn't crack. Hopefully he can figure it out and get it looking nice because I really want this fixed. <laughs> Two 
thousand years later. Where are you two? I'm going to show you how to rim when I get back to the house because it's kind of crowded over here and I didn't want to just be standing out here vlogging. We did get it straightened out. It's not bent. It is discolored from the burn, though. He said that probably happened. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much where we at. I'm probably going to have to get these, get that rim repowder coated or something. I'm going to have to figure it out, but I got the bend out of there. <sighs> this sucks, man. But, gotta continue. I might actually snatch the rims off of this car and put it on my GS and then just get some new rims for this car all together. But regardless, I still want it fixed. So we'll see what happens. Like I said, I'm gonna get back to the crib and then I'm gonna show it to y'all since there's so much going on out here right now. It look like we got a sports edition. GS300, super clean too. As they say in the car community, it's unmolested. Sheesh. All right, you two, we made it home. I know a lot of y'all probably saw this when I was leaving. This is the loaner car from Lexus that they gave us for the 10,000 mile service on the truck. And um, I'm actually gonna do a review on this. If I haven't put that video out yet, it's coming. Uh, but this is a really nice car. I'm not gonna talk too much about it. It's a Lexus, I think it's a, 20, it's a 2021 Lexus ES350. And it's a nice looking car, but the video is not about that. I'm taking a look at this rim. As you can see, it definitely burned in here. It's a discoloration. Probably have to sand it down. I might actually have to get these repowder coated. That's gonna suck, but it's straight now. So I can, I can go from there. The fact that it's straight, I can go from there. It was a little bit of dirt on it. So you can see like all this stuff right here is just, it's just dirt. It's not actually like scratches or anything like that. So other than that, these rims are pretty good. Like I said, I didn't see anything wrong with the rest of them. None of my other rims got bent, just that one. So I'm just glad we got it taken care of. I wish I didn't have to deal with that part of it, but <sighs> life, so. That's probably gonna conclude this video. I'm gonna keep on trying to bring content to y'all. I know we're getting a late start this year, but we not I haven't given it up keeping our foot on the gas. This year is about increasing the overflow and that's what we're pursuing. So like, comment, and subscribe.